All right, guys, for the past three years, I'll say, my front bumper has been kind of hanging off, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. And I guess, just like this. Uh, we drove up on a snow pile, and I, <laughs> it got caught under, it ripped it open, and ripped it off. And I haven't gotten it fixed, I've just been lazy. I could have put it under insurance claim, but I got hit by a bus, and I didn't want to put two insurance claims in there within a year. So today, let's see if this actually works, this flex glue. I wanna try and put the flex glue on the bumper, see if it works. I did clean it up yesterday, all nice and shiny. And I tried um, the, um, the JB Weld super glue yesterday, and it did not work. As soon as I put it on, it stuck up there for a second, and then it fell back down. And this is only a temporary fix. I'm gonna get a whole new front bumper, everything repainted, all that, so. I'm going to touch up the paint because I know this comes out white, so no one's ever even noticed it. So, as you notice now, I'm going to tell you that it is broken, but we're going to actually see how good this stuff actually is. Just to hold the bumper, because in the video, the, my, my racing video, when I had the camera facing the other way, I actually noticed that this, I don't know if you can see it from here, was coming out like this a little bit. You can see it, you know what I mean? So this is just a quick temporary fix for now. I'm gonna get it all nice and tight and snug. Cause it's been driving me nuts since I saw that video. Cause, and I really didn't even notice it did that until I saw it. So I wanna get it fixed. I tried yesterday with the super glue, didn't work. So we're gonna go with the flex glue, give it a try. This stuff supposedly holds together bricks and 100 pound weights and thousand pounds of weights. So we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. Also, guys, please help support the channel by getting an incredible Hemi t-shirt and a Cam Ram t-shirt. It helps the channel grow and helps support the channel. And we get the Cam Ram running the best it can be. Thank you. All right, guys, so here's the front bumper. We're going to lift it up, hold it in place, just like I'm doing this with one hand and holding the phone with the other hand, like that. We're going to try and connect it right here, possibly here. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut the tip off of this, put a little bit here to there, and hold it together and see how well it holds. I'm doing this with one hand. I should get a tripod, which like 10 people told me to do, but I haven't yet, so. Let me cut this open and I'll put a little on and we'll go from there. All right, we got it cut open. We're gonna put a little dab on and we're gonna push on that. Give me one second. All right, put a little dab on. Got some pressure held in under. Yes, my truck is very scratched up from what happened. It's all good. Supposedly, I can let go of this. No. All right, we got the jack under there holding pressure on it, and we uh, got it sealed in. It wasn't. It was. It was not holding at all. Just from sticking it in there. Even though they said they put two bricks on it and it instantly held together. But I mean, this was a not bricks. I guess I made a mess of myself because this is like it's like caulk. And uh came out like caulk, it made a mess like caulk. And I'm hoping and it didn't really do what I was expecting it to do. I was expecting it to grab instantly and stay together, but you know, I'm gonna leave the jack and the uh, I got a strap under there pulling it in. Hopefully it holds it in place. If it doesn't, I'll peel it off like caulk and it ain't no big deal. Two hours later. All right, guys. Here is a two-hour update on the uh, a repair I did with the glue. Looks like it's really sticking as I'm even moving this and coming much better. I will be taking all this apart tomorrow morning when I go to work. I'm hoping that this all stays, you know, pretty good. We will see. If it doesn't, I'll just peel it off and, uh, you know, make it look black again. But it looks a little weird, but it's a rubberized kind of glue. Like I said, this is not permanent, so don't hate me for doing this. This is just something just so this doesn't fly out like I showed you in the video because of the uh, bumper been damaged before. But I'll paint that once I know that this is permanent also I have exact match touch up paint that you know I have a couple spots as you could, may not be able to see on the video but I did do a couple touch up paint spots and hopefully looks all good in the end I'll have another update tomorrow morning about how it looks 
This is about two hours later since the, since I initially put it on. So tomorrow morning before I leave for work, I'll have an, an initial update on it. And we'll go from there and see how it is. Alright guys, about an, hour, about an hour or so ago, I took the jack off and the strap I had because it started to rain. I rushed it inside. Here's how it turned out. Oh, turned out pretty good. That's pretty strong on there. It's all flush right now. I'm just going to get some uh, touch-up paint and touch it up and see how it goes. So far, I like it. Looks like it's pretty good. So this ain't the greatest fix for this ain't the greatest fix for this, but it's just a quick repair. Don't hate me because of it. I'll be getting a new bumper soon eventually. I've been saying that for years now, but I keep buying performance mods. So I don't want to put another thing under insurance just because I don't feel like paying 500 hour deductible for a 200 hour bumper, basically. So yeah. We have some touch up paint I bought a couple years ago. Still works pretty good and we're going to touch it up and just paint this up black let it harden up put the clear coat on it hopefully it comes out pretty good if not eh, it is what it is and at least it'll be black and match the rest of the truck and at least this won't at least this won't be coming off this is on there pretty good the glue looks pretty pretty good so far So far, this is actually pretty sturdy. I'm not a painter. Don't hate me because I'm doing things wrong. I'm just doing it my way. And I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, guys, we are all done. It's black. It's painted. Yes, it looks terrible, but as long as it's not falling off, that is the main thing in, to me. And from a distance, don't look that bad, but it's closed together. Gap here is now closed. This is all hanging off. That's all I really wanted was just the gap to not be closed off, just to match what this is supposed to look like. So I'm just glad it's fixed and it's painted up the right color. And it's just a quick fix, just to get it done. I'm going to get a lot of hate probably for this because of what I did, but guess how much I care. I don't. You know what I mean? This truck has been on job sites. This has got scratches, dings, dents all over this thing. I've used this thing for work. And it goes at a drag strip and tears people apart. So, it's my daily driver. It's not a friggin' garage cap truck by any means. It's five years old, 70, 71,000 miles on it. I did wash her yesterday. She's fast for a big truck. Fast as NA four wheel drive Ram, 5.7. Getting more mods done than with, yeah. So that's just my quick fix, my uh, little quick repair I did. Eh, happy the way it turned out. We will, I will be getting a front bumper eventually. Don't get me wrong on that. But for now, the flex paint worked. Got the job done. And not too bad. Alright guys, till the next one. Peace.